and, and okay. Phil Vickery, just while we're talking here today about everybody's talking about the family, of course, you, not only you, but your wife, mm. Fern, uh, as well. We're going to hear from Fern later today. I miss her so much because she absolutely hated cooking. <laughs> she hated cooking. And in actual fact, she came up to me one day and said, I've got to make a, a dinner party on Saturday night. I'm going to do fish pie. Can I have your recipe? And I said, of course you can. So we did it. And that's the only thing she's ever cooked. And when we did this morning cook-off at Christmas, Sharon was there as well. And Denise was so bad at it that she got kicked out the first round. <laughs> but, but she was so happy that she was out the first round. So, and I always used to call her the boss. Like, the boss is here. And uh, so, yeah, I'm going to miss it. Well, your boss, we've got your boss on the phone. Uh, I'm the boss. Think. Yeah, we've got <laughs> Fern on the phone. Hi, Fern, are you there? Good morning. Yes, I'm here, listening to all your wonderful tributes. I mean, Denise has just, as Phil just said, she was not a domestic goddess, and she hated Christmas and the whole idea of cooking Christmas lunch and all that. She hated the idea of it, but she just wanted to be at home with her family and the dogs. And she was so wonderfully funny. I'll never forget that. She was very funny whenever she would... Do you remember doing the potter's wheel with Dr. Chris? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. I think we'll be showing that later. Oh, good. Well, she's an absolute sex bomb. I mean, a very <laughs> pretty woman. Um, and so funny. And backstage, we would gossip quite badly. But she was never nasty. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? We'd gossip and have a laugh. And she loved her cup of tea. So, can you still hear me, darling? Yes. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Well, when you do the fish pie today, yeah. don't forget to make a pot of tea, because she loved her cup of tea. Oh, she is, that, is that two bosses now? I've got <laughs> Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Listen to the boss. And also, not only did she love the tea, she liked a glass of wine. <laughs> and her life was like a movie story. And... You know, she had her lovely Brian at the end and five beautiful boys, mm. and I told her my problems, and she always gave me great advice, and the most flattering thing was that once she asked me for mine. <laughs> <laughs> and um, she's a woman that I very, very much admired and one that I'll never forget as a friend and as a beautiful woman and as a, as a proper, strong, feminist woman that we would all like to aspire to be. Yeah, mm. and Fern, talking about food that you, you and Phil were talking about there, when she came down to stay in London, she would stay in a hotel and in the morning um, she would order, this is Jane Tyler, who's her makeup artist, told me this fact. Yeah. She would order bacon and sausage in the morning but never eat it. <laughs> she, would, <laughs> she would wrap it up and bring it home for her dog. She would get on the train and go to Sunderland. So the dogs knew exactly what was coming. Every time she went away, they were waiting at the door, waiting for the bacon and sausage. Yeah, absolutely. You see, that's absolutely her. She, she is never, ever going to be forgotten. And, and, you know, now we can all talk to her in our prayers and in our dreams, and she will answer our prayers and dreams, you know? Um, I... I, I I really will miss her. She was wonderful, absolutely wonderful. Oh, well, thank you, Fern, and it's, it's good to talk to you, and we'll make sure Phil makes that pot of, pot tea. of tea. I'll be on him. Yeah. I'll be on yes, him. Yes, please do. I'll be looking at I'm going to go home now and make myself a pot of tea. Yeah. All right. Bye, everybody. Ryland. Thanks, thanks thank Fern. You. Thanks very much indeed.